Hey friends, it's Lisa. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I am storing our curriculum. It has been working out really well, so I am excited to share with you guys. So if you are looking for a quick and easy way that works, we want something effective, right? So if you're looking for an efficient and effective way to organize your homeschool curriculum, keep on watching. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss how I am storing the curriculum for my kids. Now, I will say out of all the solutions that I've had so far, this one is my absolute favorite because it is functional and it works so well within our homeschool. So Let me turn the camera around and show you guys how I'm organizing the curriculum for our three kids. Okay, so our curriculum is being stored right here in the front area of our homeschool room. If you guys have seen our homeschool room before, you know exactly where this is. It is on this entryway table. I used to have two lamps here, so I would have one lamp here and one lamp there, but that has since changed because I have found this solution to work well. Now, to be honest with you guys, I was struggling a bit because I felt like this needed to be like behind a cabinet, but a lot of curriculum will get lost in the mix by storing it and putting it away. So now it's here, it's simplified, it looks organized, and it works so well. So each kid has their own set of trays here. I picked these trays up from Staples and I think Amazon. I'll link, I'll try to link these if I can. I don't know if I'll be able to link these because I couldn't find them online when I tried to order more for this, but they were not. Um, the cheapest thing in the world, but I feel like this is a solution that will work for a very long time. So what I did was I purchased a box set of six of these, uh, what is this, like paper trays. And on the side over here, I kind of wrote with the marker, but I do need to go back and label them a little bit better. The reason that I like this is that I think these from the store was six for maybe $30, but I can always go back and continue to add as necessary. I don't have to go higher, but I can always add another row on the side. So what I did was I put each subject in each of these little trays and it depends on my kid what they want to do. These are very easy to just pick up and take with them if they want to just take one or they can grab all of them and bring them to the table at one time so they have everything or they can grab the subjects that they need, take that to the table, and then bring it back whenever they're done. But this makes it so that everything has a home. I'm not as much a stickler of making sure that everything goes into the right space as much as I am to making sure that your things are just put away and together. So if this one is on the bottom, it's fine as long as all of these are together because we need all of those at that time. So starting here on the top, um, we have this notebook. This is where I kind of explain to my oldest what he's going to be doing or what's expected of him in each of his lessons that is in here. This is his daily rhythm and then his art notebook and then his journals are here as well. Now I'll do a separate video if you guys want to know more in depth about their curriculum. Then I have his folder, his human body, and I think that's his human body folder here. So you see the label here. So all I did was I took one of these dividers from his binder because we were using a, uh, I think like a three or four inch binder, a pretty big one, but it still was not enough. So I just took that out of the binder and I just slid that there so it has a tab right there. And then he can move along to the next one here, which is grammar. So he has like his grammar books, his notebook for his grammar. And this one is new to us as well. And then this little tab here says English on there. So all of that is for English. And then we move on to his science. Now we are doing um, human body and I know that could be considered a science, but we're doing human body. And he also has his science book, um, which is a physical world. So his science is there. So science book, science folder, and then his notebook. This is a three, um, what is that called? This is a three subject notebook. So other things are in here as well, like his math, which is online teaching textbooks. Um, he uses this for that as well, but at least he has it there. So there is his science and math notebook. And then moving right along, this is our Bible curriculum. There should be a tab here that says Bible. His Bible folder is there as well. 
and there's a tab there but it looks like it's missing or is it upside down it looks like it's missing the tab that says bible but this is everything that he would need for bible and then here is logic so everything for logic is there his logic notebook is here his logic book and then his logic folder as well and then you move on down to his extra notebook that he uses as well as his Spanish so here's his Spanish he uses that notebook for Spanish and for any other activities that we're doing where he needs a spot he uses that as well again if you want to see more in depth I can go over this in the video just let me know in the comments section down below so then we move over to my preschoolers work and so this is everything that we have for her she also has her art notebook she has her calendar she has a few other journals or this journal or notebook that i also use in the morning so she grabs this right away in the morning and then we have her math and her math notebook here and in the math note or in her math folder sorry not a notebook but in her math folder it's labeled math and then it also has um all of her completed work is in here and let's see i'm gonna put that back in there the next one is geography so there is her geography and then i just keep the sheets in here um i think she does have a folder for this so i need to look, check for her folder but the folder would go here if i pull it out if i rip it out and then her flash cards are here for her um, english and language arts because it wouldn't fit in the other one so those are her her flash cards for her lessons this is her english uh area or bin or tray right here this is what we use for english and so she has her english books there and then in here is where we keep her completed work if we tear it out of there and then her additional sheets that she would need for like handwriting or you know things that would go along with her lessons if i can laminate it i do and i put it in here and then we have that the next one is just additional things that we're working on together so if i choose not to use one of these then i'll go ahead and use this i also use this for handwriting because she completed her handwriting curriculum which was handwriting without tears so i just kind of go through each of these with her as well as this this is all handwriting as well so this number book and then her little boards here her dry erase boards are there and um, the handwriting letter notebook is there as well so this is everything for her as well as um, this wouldn't fit in a folder but it's just letters that i typed up i used to have it hanging on the wall but now it lives there so these are her trays these are a little bit more difficult to take apart because they kind of click into each other which is good because they're so little um Cameron can carry all of his by himself um, Jason Savannah will need help but they have like grips on the sides here but I just pick all of this up and bring it to my table area so there is that and then here is my kindergartner's work area so he has pretty much the same setup that she does so he has his art book here his calendar and then his morning work or his morning journals are all there and then we move into his math area with his math uh, folder here now i do have a separate folder for him because his gets full faster he works through his work a little bit faster so these are all the additional sheets that i laminated for him that he would need with his curriculum his completed work i keep separate if i tear it out of his notebook so there's that and then we move into his science notebook or his science book and his geography book and same thing he has a folder here that is labeled science right there and so i keep that all together he doesn't have a notebook because uh he doesn't need one he's too young to have one right now it's unnecessary for him and then here is his english and language language arts thing so here is his folder for that this one's getting kind of full too so he has his dictionary here and then everything else that he would need for his lessons is there that i needed to laminate things that he would use again and again that we just needed to have readily available curriculum the book that goes with his curriculum and then this is his notebook he doesn't have to write in here but he does cut things out and glue them in here so he has all of his words all together like that 
So there is that. And then moving on to the next one, this is more phonics. I am heavy on phonics, writing, English, math, those the basics for them. So these are things that he also works on each day. So we have that. And then down here is his handwriting notebook. So this is his handwriting without tears, as well as his boards, dry erase boards for him to write on. So there is everything. And then our pencil sharpener is here. They each have their own pencil pouches, so that's something that we don't have to worry about. Their pencil po pouches live on their desk. I'm gonna grab one to show you. So each of the kids have one of these pencil pouches that has their pencils in there, markers, some stamps, a glue stick, dry erase marker, and then there's scissors, let me see. Um, there's a, a larger eraser, and then they have scissors in here. I thought I saw them somewhere, there they are. You guys can look down there and see their scissors. And then they have a sock in here for their dry erase board. We just use a sock to erase off of the dry erase board. So each of them have one of these. Savannah has, um, she has one, but she doesn't use it because she has a little Hello Kitty tote or container that she got for Christmas. And so she has all of her things in there, but Cameron has one, this is Jace's, and I actually am using Savannah's to put my markers and things in. So um, we all have one of these. And so this is how I am storing, and I just keep these on their desk. So this is how we are organizing all the curriculum for our homeschool. It is working out so well. This is probably the easiest method that I have. It did take a little bit of investment. I thought about doing like the pull out rolling carts, but they just seem too flimsy and would not hold up well. And so I feel like this is amazing and I love it and I wish I would have done this sooner. So if you are looking for a way to organize the curriculum that you have for your babies, you can definitely consider something like this. Now, which one is the best? I guess it depends on what you're looking for. If you wanna take tray by tray, I probably wouldn't recommend this one, even though it has the grips or the handles here, only because they click down so hard, it's kinda of hard to pull them up and down each day. This one though is easier to grab, like I can just lift this up and it's easy to grab and then setting it back down you can see here on the side, it just kind of sits right there on the top. Whereas these have like little grooves on top and each of the bottom pieces have to go in those little areas. So makes it a little bit more challenging. So if you're looking to take them apart constantly, try this one. But if you want to keep them like this and you're just gonna be sliding things in and out, um, I would recommend this one because it does have the handles on there so I don't know that's just and I don't know I don't even know why it matters but I like these better I don't know so this is what I'm using they are both extremely sturdy I don't have any issues with them holding things they both hold very well and so yeah um, will binders fit here I think maybe one to two inch binders anything more than that I don't know that it will fit so that is how I'm storing the curriculum for our three babies. Again, this is my favorite way. I wish I would have done it sooner, but I didn't, but that's okay. You live and you learn. So if you're looking for a solution on how to store curriculum, definitely give this a try. I would give this a 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for being here. Until next time, take care and have a beautiful day. Bye friends.